uh, it's something that uh, most of us have and none of us want, right? Stress. And it's Stress Awareness Month in April and uh, April 16th, the day after taxes, right? Is the big Perfect. day for stress. Dr. Brenda Wade joining us here now. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here, yeah. Mark. And stress is the one thing every single person is impacted by. And we often don't realize it. So most of us have, oh God, where did I leave my keys? Or, or gee, like me, I actually put the keys <laughs> in the freezer. Don't ask, don't ask. But that's stress. I'm running too hard. We have shortness of breath. We have trouble falling asleep. We're reaching for prescription meds or over-counter meds just to get a good night's sleep. We're eating on the fly. So all of these things contribute to the brain going to a very primitive reaction. It's called the stress cascade. The brain goes, ah, there's a lion in the grass. And you know where this shows up the most? Where? Relationships. Really? See, a lot of us don't think that your stress affects things like Absolutely. your relationships. Absolutely. And when I have a couple come in to see me and they're at one another's throats, the first thing I ask is, what's going on in your life? And we start checking all the stressors. Somebody just moved. The, they lost their job. They have a money distress. All these things contribute to the number one symptom of stress, which is hyper irritability. That means you have a cranky right. person. Yes. You're living with a very cranky person. So the thing I want people to remember is that we can mitigate stress. We can make it better by remembering halt. Halt means never too hungry, angry, lonely, or tired. That's good. If you feel yourself getting hangry, there was mm -hmm. a big thing about that yesterday, getting hangry, or if you feel lonely, you don't have enough support in your life. Often we're moving too fast to just call up a friend or family member and say, how are you doing, Mark? Let's talk. And that alone is a stress relief, isn't it? It's a huge stress reliever, or to just sit down with a friend and have a cup of tea. But we're usually like, hit the tweet or hit the, you know, right. we don't actually have conversations. And I don't think we realize it's not just a mental thing, they're actually a physiological effects That's right. from stress. That's right, because stress actually triggers in the body a cascade because the brain is being bathed in cortisol. Every cell in the body absorbs cortisol. Everyone knows that stress hormones are designed so that we can fight or run if our lives are threatened. But most of us are acting as if there's a lion in the grass all day, every day without realizing it. Now the body is not designed to sustain this prolonged stress response. You're supposed to run from the lion and then go back to normal. But we're running from the lion all day, every day, and that's what we have to mitigate with HALT. Never too hungry, angry, lonely, tired. Carry those little protein bars in your bag or in your briefcase or in your pocket, in your car. I literally have fruit and little things in the car because if the brain runs out of fuel, we feel worse and the stress gets worse. And how do you remember? I think the key is to remember every day to deal with your stress. Yes. I think it just builds up and we really forget. How do you keep it in the forefront? Well, the key is to get ahead of it. So we have a thing I call meds. And meds is to meditate, exercise, really eat a healthy diet, D is for diet and S is for sleep. So you want to take your meds every day. Now meditation not only lowers stress, it builds up the good hormones in the brain. We get more serotonin, we get more endorphins from meditation. Now most people say, oh God, my mind is racing, how do I meditate? I'm going to give you a very quick trick right now that calms the mind in 30 seconds. If you do this, simply tap on your sternum, this will happen so fast and just think, Ah, I'm peaceful. Just 30 seconds of this. I'm peaceful. I am peaceful. I am peaceful. What happens is almost instantly the body goes, oh, we're good. So we want to halt, use your meds. Meditation doesn't have to mean doing this. It can mean anything that slows the body down, slows the brain down, and connects us to that light and energy we call source, and whatever so, that is yeah. for you. And what's so great is, you know, people say, oh, I don't have time, I don't have time, but this just takes a minute or two it a does. day, and that That's makes right. all the difference. That's right. It? And we have a gift for Cron4 viewers. Thank you. They can hit us up up at drbrendaway.com for a free teleseminar to be stress-free. I'll be there this afternoon. Thank you, Mark. No, thank you, Dr. Brenda Wade. Thanks for joining us. And we'll be right back as the Crown 4 Morning News continues.